Hi, I'm Carnita Groves, and you are watching Zo TV. Ooh. Speaking of Zo TV, guess who I'm here with? One year later, almost one year, a little more than one year later, right? It's, it's more than a year. Wow, yeah, time more than a year. is zipping by, mm. flying by and zipping by. Yeah. All right, so people want to know what's been going on, what's been happening in one year. So I got a lot of questions for you. Are yeah. you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I have a lot of things to say too. <laughs> Yeah. But now, for those who don't know mm -hmm. about any of this, yeah. give us just a little bit of a background in terms of where are we. Okay. We are in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a that's good That's where we are, because some people don't know where <laughs> we are. That's true. They that's might true. think maybe we are in Malawi or Zimbabwe. No, 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 no. We are in Ghana, center of the world. That's where we are now. Aquaba. Yes. But um, we are in a Po Kantamansu constituency, OEB Pillar 2. And... Um, we are at my science experiment center. Science experiment center where I experiment everything. Recycled wood, natural soil building, and we are sitting in the building now, rammed earth construction. That's where we are. All right, rammed yeah. earth. Yes. What on earth is rammed earth? Well, it's like, you know what ramming is. You know, it's like ramming something. So it's not ram the animals no. combined in the soil. No, 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 not ram the animals. It's, um, it's um, uh, putting soil together, compacting it, compacting soil together. But the idea is you're compacting that soil to achieve a result. Mm. The result is like, you know, you know making a house ah. out of dirt, mm -hmm. out of earth. But once you are putting it together, the act of putting it together is what they call ramming. ramming. So you ram it together to produce, you know, the result you want. If it's a wall, it's a house, or whatever you want to build. Oh, okay. Yes. And so that's what people are seeing here. This yes. It's been rammed. Yes. Okay. And and now this has been about a year or so since we were last year, a little more than a year. Yes, a little more than a year. And it's been out in the elements, in the climate. Yeah. What's, tell us about the climate and rammed earth. Well... You know, we, I think Africa always get behind things. Mm. So let me take it on that tangent. So there is a lot of stories going around the world about climate change, mm. climate change, climate mm -hmm. change, mm -hmm. sustainability. So um, some of us are also on that end mm -hmm. of understanding what happens when everything is changing. Yeah. So I've been in this industry for some time now. I started with wood and I added the earth story on top of it. Mm -hmm. Now with climate change and sustainability, we look at Africa and you look at all the housing problems we have, mm -hmm. we look at accommodation. Population is increasing every day, but there are not enough you know, um, houses to be able to cater for the people. Yeah. And everybody too is complaining about carbon emission, you know, um, the ozone layer is having a problem. So where do Africa stand in this? Where do we go? Mm -hmm. How do we come up with innovation, innovative ways of building to be able to combat the, the, the climate change? That's how come this whole idea of rammed F is looking to be one sort of the new phase for Africa to go. Oh, okay. It is not really a new type of thing. It's an ancient way of building already. Oh, okay. We, where Africa has been building like this using clay, mud houses, yeah, yeah. and type of things like that. But we want to be able to upgrade it, we want to add value to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is why Ramp F seems to be the modern thing that we are looking at because nice. um, it will fit into the modern architecture by way of how the technology is. Mm -hmm, okay. So nice. um, we're looking at Ramp F to be the new style for the world to start adopting, mm -hmm. moving forward in terms of housing. Okay. And this is what I am doing in Africa for now. So over a year now, I have been on this. And you know, you were yeah. here yeah. when we, 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 we started. This is where we are now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's weathering. I mean, again, it's out in the elements and everything. How does the, how does the weather, how does the climate affect round Earth as an outer wall? Well, I think that... Um, it has its own lifespan from the time of building this till now, which is about a year and three months or four months. At first, you know, when you finish with the wall, 
it looks pretty good but for almost getting to a year and a half when the rain is bashing it for mm -hmm. for some time mm -hmm. you feel like it is losing certain things that for me as a builder the way i saw it first and the way i'm seeing it now uh -huh. you know you have an eye uh, yes yes um it feels to me like it should be out there maximum maybe eight to ten months and you should roof it oh yes okay. that is how okay. that is how um, that's how I see it. Um, is there something they can apply to the outer wall that is there, a, I don't know, a resin or something? Yes. Really? Okay. Yes. There is something that you apply to the wall where, you know, it's Whenever like... Whenever it's, it's an a, outer wall as opposed to if it's an indoor wall. Yes. If, okay. it's, if, it's, if it's outer wall okay. where the weather, climate is going to have effect on it, then you give it a, a raincoat. There's a, something as a raincoat. Oh, wow. That you, you, you pour on it. It doesn't change the coloring or anything oh, okay. of the walls. But it's a bit expensive, so oh, okay. it also comes with cost. Okay. Yes. But you put that one on and it's a coating. So when the rain falls on it, you know, it will just not nicely just fall down. But depending on where you are looking at it from as well, um, it's aging. Yeah, yeah. It's aging. So if you don't mind it aging. It looks nice the way it ages. Thank you. Then, you know, then, you know, you leave it like that. Yeah. But then if you, if you are concerned about being aging and a bit getting a bit too rough, mm -hmm. then I'll advise that, you know, the earlier you roof it, the better it oh, is. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. So... Where it is now, I would prefer that it's been roofed okay. because I think that it's been out here for too long. Okay. It's been bashed for too long mm -hmm. and I would like that the roof comes on top okay. so that the rest of the work can continue. Okay. Yeah. Now you said something earlier about uh, finances or expense or something like that. What, how affordable is Ram Earth? What are, what's, is this something that's affordable that people can do? Ram Earth is affordable. Okay. Ram Earth is way cheaper about 30 to 40 percent cheaper oh wow than the regular concrete houses that we build wow but the the challenge i have here is not only about me building this um i started this project as an accommodation for my workers to be on site and for myself but when i started the project the project became more of a learning center for round f okay because I needed to, you know, train the technical manpower mm -hmm. to be able to go out there and build. Mm -hmm. So this became a training center. And once you are training, you are bound to have mistakes. Mm -hmm. So we break, we re-put forms again, oh, okay. we pound, mm -hmm. the wall get crooked, mm -hmm. we break. Mm -hmm. So it's been a daunting task oh, okay and this is the reason why we've not been able to finish uh, okay the, the the house okay and it becomes costly as a result of training mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and you have to learn how to break oh okay it is not a regular concrete wall and as you see it like this yeah, yeah. even though it looks people will think like oh you know ram there's it just soil put together if you want to break it you can break it easily it's not easy to break. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Yes, it's okay. not easy to break at all. Okay. And when you are breaking it, this is a bit high. So imagine yeah, it's if very high. Yeah, imagine if you know you've made a mistake somewhere along the line, 12 feet, 14 feet there, and it's crooked and you want to break it. Um you can't just you have to look at it from uh, how do you call it uh, a, a standpoint, a security standpoint uh, okay. where you break and it doesn't affect you. Okay. You break and you know and uh -huh. you don't want to break the whole wall yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And because it's a form work type of thing that we've done, once you are breaking it, you can create create a crack in the whole wall oh, wow. where you mess it up. So um, it's, it's not something, even though it looks easy, oh, people are pounding and pounding and pounding. It's not that easy like mm -hmm. that. You have to have a 3D mind. So there's, there's an element of I, uh, the science and art of demolition yes. when you're breaking parts of it. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So if you look out there, one year ago there was no wall like that. Mm -hmm. But now there is a wall. Mm -hmm. And that wall looks like it is also ram death. Mm -hmm. But it is not ram death in terms of um, uh, 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 form work being done and being pounded. Mm. Any 
break that we do here, we use the pieces, we recycle the pieces again. Oh. Yes, to form the wall. Oh, okay. Yes. So does it does it get ground down and then re re rammed, no. or just you use the chunks of it? We use the chunks of it. Wow. Yes. Oh, okay. So the wall you see out there, yeah, yeah. that wall is a chunk of ah. all the walls we've you know we, to... we we broke over oh, here. Okay. We took it to go and form a wall. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And that is also part of the learning process because. If they make a mistake and we have to break the wall mm -hmm. and create another wall again, then mm -hmm. you know they are learning the process, mm -hmm. and so that that is that is how it has been. Mm -hmm. So you know we about eight walls since you haven't been here. Yeah, eight yeah. nine walls. Yeah, I see a lot of more walls. A yeah. lot more walls. And some about eight nine walls were all broken down. Wow, really? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, they were all broken down. Sometimes too, not because they made a mistake. It is because the soil composition. Oh, okay. Some of the soil okay. we bring. To okay. the side to form the structure they don't compact very well oh, okay and you can tell when the cracks are coming mm. into the wall okay. and you know you you see that this soil is way better than that soil mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I might as well just use this one and forget about the other one mm -hmm. but these are things you get experience with you get to know yeah as you're doing, what, it. As yeah. You're doing it now speaking of challenges you know I like chalets I like those the round uh, yeah. buildings yeah how is is this another limitation or challenge of rammed earth is that to have a, ra a round chalet the form work for it is going to be very difficult is it not advisable for a round chalet oh no rammed, work, uh, rammed earth you can do a round chalet the only thing is you have to have a formwork. Yeah, the formwork. You know, everything right. about rammed earth is about formwork. Mm. So if you are able to have a circular formwork, okay. then you can have that shape. Okay. Yes. What if someone wants a story building? Can rammed earth be used to make five, six, seven stories, ten stories? Is that, or is it? You can do it, but it, it would have to come with a lot of structural engineering using component of a lot of cement concrete work. Okay. You get what I mean? Okay. Because with certain height, the, 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 the ram earth loses its strength. Oh, okay. 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 So you would have to go a certain height and then you cap it with concrete, mm -hmm. then you float the top, and then you begin with ram earth oh, again. Oh, I see. So you have to go okay. from segment to segment. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. You have to go from segment to segment. Mm -hmm. And and then, you know, uh, how do you call it? Um, your division. If you are going to do like a first floor, second floor, and you want to reduce the load bearing, uh -huh. then you have to go with you know wooden floors. You know you have to use wood to oh, do like a wooden floor type okay. of thing, so that you don't you reduce the load bearing on the walls of the ram uh -huh. So there is a technique that you can employ to be able to go that four five story. Wow. You still reduce the amount of cement that you want, but still you need certain amount of cement to form. You know. Uh, uh, you know the concrete work in terms of beams and pillars and all columns okay. and all that to make the building stronger. So round earth walls have a certain percentage of concrete in it. It's it, not purely soil. It all depends. Okay. We have we have a wall that I would call negative carbon construction. Wow. Yes, negative carbon construction means that you have a round earth wall that's purely earth that has been pounded. Wow. Really. Yes. Okay. But it also requires a certain thickness okay. that you need to employ to be able to stabilize it. Mm. So you can't do round earth wall 12, you know, uh, how do you call it, uh, one foot, and it is only pure earth, it's not going to be strong. Oh. You have to go at least 18 inches or uh, how do you call it, uh, two feet wide Wow. Okay. to be able to, to get it to be uh, stable. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, okay. Uh huh. So you're not gonna be able to do a six inch wide. No, you can't. Yeah. You can't do. You can't do. Gonna work. It's, it's not gonna work. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not okay. gonna work. But you can do one foot stabilized with five percent, ten percent of cement. Mm -hmm. Maybe sixteen inches stabilized with you know um, with cement. Mm. But once you are hitting eighteen, twenty, twenty four, there mm -hmm. you can take the cement out and wow. just go raw. Oh wow. Where you go negative carbon. Wow! 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 Okay. And how long does this last? I mean, 30, 50 years later, 100 years later, is it still there? Is it still okay? There is a building in Cape Coast, which is older than the Cape Coast Castle. Wow. And it is built with soil, natural soil, wow. in those days. Wow. It's over 300 and, 
I think three three hundred and sixty years old. Wow. You get what I mean? Wow. So Cape Coast Castle, Elimina Castle, they are all elements of natural soil buildings that they use in those days. Okay. Elimina Castle is over five hundred years old. Mm. And it is bricks, limestone, and soil put together. Wow. There's there's no cement in there. Wow. wow. Yes. I did not know that. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So you take Elmina Dungeon, the Elmina Dungeon sitting down there for over 500 years that has been sitting down there. There's no it's, it's, it's a negative carbon construction. It is basically just soil, wood, bricks put together. Mm -hmm. Seashells, mm -hmm. limestone, that's what they they, they use. Mm -hmm. So this is not something that people should be thinking that oh you have a building and it's it's a natural soil building, so it's going to fall apart within two, three days. It's going to break. No, it's not about that. It is, it is a technology that we haven't dived deeper into how to upgrade it. We lost the process of this architectural style of building in the colonial days. That we used to build like that, but we lost it. So we're trying to, it's like a re-image. Okay. Come back to the old story, add value to it, and bring it to the modern stage. Okay. Yes. Well, speaking of modern, <laughs> we're, I mean, can you forecast what we can expect over the next year or five or whatever? And not only this place, but any kind of, can we get a sneak preview of any up and coming projects that you may have coming on? Well, the thing is, I think that this is my preoccupation now. Okay. That I would like this project here to be completed. Mm -hmm. For people to see what we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. And then we move on to the next project. Okay. I have something in the pipeline, ah. but um, I think that my energy is directed towards here now mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. a lot of people out there are waiting for this project to be completed and it is not completed yet. Mm -hmm. And it is really giving me sleepless night and headache. Ah, okay. And I would like to see this thing to be completed. So then once you complete it, are you going to have some kind of like open house or some kind of special program for yes. people? Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. I'm going to outdoor it. We're going to have a good party over here. Nice. I'm going to outdoor and it. And then make sure there's a room where I can stay tonight because I'm going to stay too late and I don't want to have to travel late in the night. I just want to be able to just lay my head down somewhere. Get up in the morning, have a wonderful breakfast. Yeah. And then head home. Okay, Yeah, cool. so just have a space for me. Just a, nothing big. Okay. <laughs> nothing big, yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so, cool. so you will have a program, some kind of public event? Yes, okay. yes, I'll have a public event for this okay. because um, my idea of doing this whole thing is not about just about myself. Mm. It is I'm trying to re-engineer a different roadmap for the Africans to find a way to have homes mm. and not to look for too much money mm. to be able to acquire a home. So. Currently, as we speak, it is not easy to build a house for yourself mm. because building, you know, regular building materials are very expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes, it's very expensive. And the so, skills, I remember you said last time that people who work with you are, are leaving with new skills to where they can go home and they can do something to the places where they live. Thank you. So they're not just getting the experience of working here, making a little money, but they're going home with real life skills for, for building. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This, this is a center of learning. Mm -hmm. So I am training people to have young youth to have skills. Yeah. And they use that skill in their community to impact. Mm -hmm. So when once you live here and you go to the next level, you are a builder. Mm -hmm. And you can build for yourself, you can build for your community, and that is the only way that we can change Africa. Mm -hmm. We can't expect that our world is going to be built for us by somebody else. Mm -hmm. We have to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we have to train as many people as we can to be able to carry this story out there. Mm -hmm. So that is where I stand. Wow. So um, my, 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 my story is not just because I want to build this Ramdeth house for myself and then live in and that's all. No, it's a sample for the world mm. as a copycat mm. for us to build confidence that people can come here and say, oh, okay, yeah, it's good. I like it. Okay, I can also build something like this. Ah. I can go into something like this. Can you build one bedroom for me? Can you build two bedrooms for me? Can you build three bedrooms for me? Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? So it changes the story. So you're inviting copycats. It's like, come on in, do it, learn it, let's do this. Yes, you all know, right. yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so. Um, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you are Ghanaian or you are Nigerian or from Zimbabwe or um, the materials are available everywhere. Once you have earth, 
you know, once you have soil in your, I don't know where there's no soil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. Um, it's a concept that is good everywhere. It's environmentally friendly. Um, as, as I said, we are trying, every day we are all trying to find a way where we can take cement out mm -hmm. so that it becomes more negative, uh, how do you call it, becomes a, 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 a natural house. So, and with these houses, if, let's say I want a small, one-story, mm. one-bedroom place. Mm -hmm. Let's say two bedrooms, two bedrooms and a hall and everything like that. Mm -hmm. How long will it take to complete something with an outer wall of rammed earth? Mm -hmm. What's the, t what's approximately, I know you can't give an exact. Well, with my, with my style of design, one bedroom, two bedroom, we're looking about eight weeks. Really? Yes. To complete the whole thing? Yes, to complete the wow. whole thing. The roofing and everything? Yes. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. That is really something. Wow. Yeah. That is really something. So it is not, it's not, it's not, even though it looks labor intensive. Uh, yeah, it does look. Like when it. you know what you are doing, uh -huh. you can execute you just it. just zing on through. Yes. Wow. Yeah, you wow. can execute it. So, and you know, this is energy efficient. That is one thing that people need to know. Oh, it's quite energy efficient. That's okay. one of the things that is quite uh, 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 good about Ramdev. So now, when you say energy efficient, yes, you, you mean what specifically? So the, the walls, mm -hmm. the walls of the Ramdev, because they are natural walls. Okay, and because the of inside, how thick they are. Yes. Okay. Not even necessarily about the thickness. Okay. That is because you are using soil, okay. natural soil, about ninety-five percent soil. The walls are cooler. Ah. Yes, so in a hot climate like Africa, when you are inside here, the room is cool. Wow. You don't need air conditioning to be able to cool down the house. Wow. And when you look around Ghana, almost every house, air condition. there's air conditioning. Yeah. Yeah. Fan, air conditioning, fan, air conditioning. So mm -hmm. you don't need air conditioning to cool down the house. Mm -hmm. You don't need too many fans to cool down the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have an air conditioning in this living space now and you turn it on, Maybe by five, ten minutes time you have to turn it off because oh, inside wow. will be too cold. Oh wow! And then you have to turn it off, and then wow. you can you can be in the house for the whole day, you know, till till you know till till the following day, and it's it's still cool wow. because the coolness does not leave. Okay. It stays in. Okay. That is how it is. Okay. And it acts the same way when if you are living in a colder climate. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, okay. if you live in the colder climate, mm -hmm. the inside of the house, it keep the heat in. It keep the heat in better. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. It keeps the heat in better. So you don't have to worry about insulation in the walls. Because no, it is the insulation. It is the insulation. Nice. Because one. of the thermal wall properties. Nice one. Yes, that is what that is what happens to natural soil buildings. Mm. That so that's why I said it's energy efficient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you don't have to you know pump in too much power mm -hmm. to be able to heat up the house. Wow. You don't have to push, pump in too much air condition to, to cool the house. Wow. Yes. This is really, this is, this is impressive as much as it is exciting. <laughs> and I, I don't know, so I, I, I think I've run out of my questions. What else do you have to, to tell the viewers well, before we, before we um, close out? Yeah, before, before we pass out, because I, I know my viewers are, you know, still asking or thinking, so what next? What next? What next? And when are you going to finish? And blah 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 blah. But um, I think that the work is it's not for only me. Mm. It is for me and my viewers and anybody out there. Okay. I I want also um, them to bring their energy on board mm. for us to finish this beautiful piece over here. Okay. When I say for them to bring their energy on board, is there might be you know somebody watching us now who have. The financial means mm -hmm. or have the uh, the material means maybe you know the guy working a you know a timber yard or something who wants okay. to donate okay. a number of timber for us okay. to use for our roof okay um there could be somebody out there who has a roofing company mm -hmm. who was also want to help us to you know uh provide some maybe sheet or something for us okay. to uh, I use it for the for the roofing. There could be a, electrical a, a electrical guy out there mm -hmm. who wants to support us, mm -hmm. and there could be somebody doing glass windows and stuff like that mm -hmm. who want to support us because okay. there are so many elements that needs to come together before we can complete this. Okay. And those elements they are, are all um, how do you call it a huge capital base, mm -hmm. and I, I have been training so many students for over a year 
and I've exhausted all my fans. Oh. And the only way I can continue is for other people to stretch their hands mm -hmm. and then come come on board to help this project to be completed mm -hmm. so that we can all celebrate mm -hmm. the first story mm -hmm. building Ram Death mm -hmm. in Ghana. Well, and this kind of coming together of community like that, that's the story of us. Thank that's you. how we do. Yeah. yeah. So um, that, is where, that is where we are. And I'm still available for people to contract me to do their design for them or nice. build their Ram Death for them. And um, it is not only about the Ram Death, I'm still in more in the building industry in terms of recycling. So mm -hmm. I'm still in the wood industry as okay. well, okay. you know, building with wood and all that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not talking about Ram Death thinking that we are forgotten about the wood. Sure. This is another phase okay. of, of uh, uh, taking the story. So, um, so if someone wants you to do a wood project for them, they can still call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want a wooden project to be done, you can still call. You want earth project to be done for you, you can still call. Mm -hmm. And we, um, a lot of the finishing aesthetics of this building over here is going to have a lot of uh, wood cladding and stuff in it like that. Oh. So it is not only about the earth. We are going to make sure. It's, not, it's all about nature. Mm -hmm. It's all about nature. So, yeah, that is where we are. Nice. Well, this has been great, and it's been so cool to come back after what a year and three months or something like that. Yeah, I think to yeah. see the changes. And, yeah, yeah, and, well, yeah. Well, this is Zo TV. Share this information. Share this video. Click that like if you haven't subscribed. Definitely subscribe. And Zo, thank you so much for who you are and all you do, and for bringing us up to speed on this. People have been eager yeah. to know what's been going on. So thank you so much. Thank you, too. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. And I will see you again soon. You definitely will.